हेलो फ्रेंड्स द टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज 80386 फंडामेंटल डेटा टाइप्स द बेसिक प्रोग्रामिंग मॉडल कंसिस्ट ऑफ मेमोरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड सेगमेंटेशन डेटा टाइप्स रजिस्टर्स इंस्ट्रक्शन फॉर्मेट्स ऑपरेंट सिलेक्शन एंड इंटरप्स एंड एक्सेप्शन इन टुडेज वीडियो विल डिस्कस द बाइट्स वर्ड्स एंड डबल वर्ड्स विच आर द फंडामेंटल डेटा टाइप्स ऑफ 80386 macros let us start welcome to our channel engineering and technology for you if you are not subscribed to our channel kindly subscribe and press the bell icon let us start with the topic fundamental data types now here you can see the fundamental data types are byte word and double word a byte is eight continuous bits starting at any logical address and the bits are numbered 0 through 7 0 is the least significant bit 7 is the most significant bit then word is two contiguous bytes starting at any byte address a word thus has 16 bits the bits of word are numbered 0 through 15 here bit Zero is the least significant bit, and the byte containing bit zero is called as the low byte. And the byte containing bit fifteen is called as the high byte. The low byte will have the lower address, and high byte will have higher address. So here address is n, here address is n plus one. Then double word. is four bytes containing any four consecutive addresses so address n address plus 1 address n plus 2 address n plus 3 bits in double word they are numbered from 0 to 31 the word containing bit 0 of the double word is called as the low word and the word containing bit 31 is called as the i word then now the address for double word will be contiguous let us see the arrangement of bytes within words and double words now here you can see bytes words and double words in memory so this is the memory values which are in hexadecimal and this is the byte address starting from 0 and it is uh, going in this direction for direct so 0 to 9 then we'll have a b because the address is hexadecimal now here the 80386 macro sir the lower byte is stored in the byte with lower address and the high byte will be stored at the higher address so you can see here now this is the word at address 1 so if you take the address 1 so the word will be cb p1 because the this is the low byte and this will be the high byte then if you take word at address 2 so it will be 74 cp so always the low byte of the word will be stored at the lower address and high byte will be stored at higher address then similarly here uh, word at address 6 so it will be 230p then uh, you can put byte at any address so this is the byte at address 9 so that is 1f then word at address b so it will be fe06 and if you want to address the double word at address a it will be 7a fe06 p6 so this is how the words and bytes will be addressed so then let us go further 
the words do not need to be aligned at even number address and double words do not need to be aligned at the address evenly divisible by 4 so this allows maximum flexibility in data structure for example records containing mix byte word and double word atoms the memory utilization will be efficient with the help of this 80386 has 32-bit data bus to communicate between processor and memory. So it takes as double word transfers aligned at the address divisible by 4. So the process converts the double word transfers aligned to other addresses into multiple transfers. So these unaligned operations reduce the speed by requiring extra bus cycle. This you must understand. Because when we study the timing diagram at that time, the unaligned operations will need extra bus cycle. So for maximum speed, data structures, particularly the stacks, should be designed so that the words operands are aligned at even address and double word operands are aligned to address evenly divisible by 4. Then that will give us the maximum. So with this we come to the end of this video if you like the video press the like button share with your friends and subscribe to our channel engineering and technology for you. and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notifications for future videos on this sub then thanks for watching have a nice day